Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Power Wash Simulator where in the previous episode we had a bit of a problem cleaning the camper van and that's simply because of the rust on it. However, I think there was a patch just after I recorded that which fixed a couple of issues when it comes to rust and such so hopefully that's not a big issue but we have one more mission at the moment to do. This is clean the fire helicopter at the Muckingham Fire Station Main Street. It's 600 generic units of currency as a reward but well we can't actually buy anything because we've got well everything bought in fact you know what with the money that we have we could probably go ahead and get the the medium pressure washer not that we actually needed but anyway let's have a quick look at this uh, clean the fire helicopter then so hey if we've got one heck of a dirty copter on our hands your buddy Cal got himself at a real spot of bother up Mount Rushless poor guy was so delirious from volcanic fumes he thought that the mayor's hellish feline was up there with him he's fine now but with the cop, uh, with the cho chopper, it looks like something dug up from the bowels of the earth, which it nearly was. We got TV crews arriving later, so if you can do, what you do well. I'm sure get it was out of a jam. Uh, thanks again, pal. Okay, uh, sort of butchered all of that sense. We'll basically clean the helicopter. No problem whatsoever. So, like before, we are going to have a quick look around, and that is quite a tall helicopter. Yeah, we're going to have a quick quick look around. We're going to clean up most of the stuff that we can, and then I'll go ahead and use the cleaner. So, we can see that we have this helicopter here. It is designation November 4073 Sierra. It has a £20,000 load, and it says max exit load there, and it is also number there 782 we can see we've also got rescue on the side on the front it is dirty on the side it is dirty and everywhere else is well dirty so we've got these three wheels to clean and then obviously the rotors and such up there why is that on the back is that like the seems to have I'm gonna go up the top here seems to have like some sort of connection to the engine where perhaps where that's driving all of the fire equipment I'm just jumping on the, the little I guess, I don't know if it's a wing, but certainly a strut there. It says no step, but we're Mavericks and we can do what we want. And, no, it does seem that, uh, yeah, we've got a sort of a power connection, power feed on that. Oh, actually, there's these as well. I'm not going to even pretend to know what any of that does. Any oh, and this is also the <laughs> the way, and, I'd, and you can see where the pumps are as well. So, I mean, we could just clean, basically from here. Uh, let's just double check to see what we've got. I'm going to go with the 40 degree nozzle for this time and see if we can clean off with the 40 degree nozzle and yeah this is the snorkel here and it looks like this is mainly just dirt so muck and grime and that sort of thing so a quick scrub with this will be alright you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna switch to this because I reckon that will be about yeah that's a bit better it's about the same diameter at this distance anyway as the hose so I'm just gonna clean up the hose and then we'll be able to you know check the other stuff out we should really clean top down that is normally the better procedure and I think we will do that but I'm just going to clean off uh, this this hose while we're here you can see we're getting a bit of overspray there which is well that's another drinking game every time I sit overspray it take <laughs> a sip of beverage by the way today's beverage is just a water with some ice cubes in it so I don't think it's technically a beverage but it's still wet and it's cold and very refreshing I actually have a little spray of uh, lemon and lime, I should have put that in, but alas. Anyway, this is the snorkel, and we can see after a full clean of the snorkel, we have this thing, oh, at 1%, brilliant. Where is the rest of the dirt? Is it going to be, like, underneath here? Or is it on this side? No, maybe it's under there. Maybe we have to go prone to get that. Mm, I'm not seeing it, very curiously. Oh, maybe under there as well. No, so where is, where is the dirt for... For this snorkel. Oh, it's under there. And there we go. There's that snorkel. 1% cleaned. Okay, we're going to clean... I think... You know what? We'll clean the blades. Why not? So, this is the helicopter blades here. And because of the distance, even with a long nozzle, it's providing... It's proving a little bit of a challenge. So, I'm going to switch over to this, which is the favourite 15 degree nozzle. It's the one I personally prefer. And we are, once again, breaking our necks by looking up. The treehouse really did... Uh, force us to go for major surgery on the <laughs> on our uh, lower back and neck just to yeah allow us to actually function again it's we spent so much time looking up especially towards the latter part of the uh, of the uh, episode there and ah actually that's curious because how am i going to get how am i going to get up on the top of that rotor hang on let me just 
Let me just pick up this ladder and we'll see where we have options to place it. I guess we could place it there. And if we can get up to the top and then can we stand on this thing? We we can stand on this thing. I would assume if the, any fire department saw us doing this, they would immediately have seven heart attacks and then <laughs> probably use a lot of screaming and shouting to get us off this thing. Like, what are you doing up there? Well, I'm cleaning it. What, you're standing on the edge of a rotor blade for a helicopter? Well... Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. So let's just go ahead and clean. Oh, this is the rotor mast. We're going to get a lot of overspray here, and we've got this like dome on the top there as well. You can see the majority of it is just dirt. There's no, there's no like rust on it and such. Not like the fire engine where we had rust on it. I, I assume that there's going to be some rust on here, but it may be on mainly where the water connections are. That's probably where you'll find them. It's quite an intricate vehicle as well. You can see there's a lot of a lot of, like, cowlings and such, and other bits that go underneath parts of the helicopter. So we're going to have to be very careful when we clean there and try to be a little bit more, a little bit more methodical and precise than perhaps we usually are. But there you are. It's also very difficult because it's just a light coating of dirt. I think it's a little bit difficult to see exactly where all the dirt is. So I'm just I'm going to hit it from multiple angles. And as we move off to the other side, we obviously we'll keep keep spraying there. I think maybe jumping to the 25 degree may even may even help us out here. And well, that's actually much better and much more satisfying as well. There we go. Yep, yeah, that is that is proving to be fairly decent. Should we do we risk the 40 degree? It's working. I'm missing the corner, I think. No, that seems to be working. There we go. And... Once we're at the end, just work our way back as well. Now, naturally, these are not getting cleaned because we have to do the underside as well. I think I am going to switch back to the 25 degree. Uh, 25 degree? 25 degree is what I said. Yeah, the 25 degree. It still works. Uh, 25 degree nozzle. I'm also, you can see, crouching there. Uh, actually, technically going prone. And then hitting all of that. Yeah, underneath these, obviously, we need to we need to hit them as well. But we'll, we'll clean these rotors from the top. And then we'll work our way down. And do it that way. I've no idea how many episodes this will be. I'm hoping it, I'm hoping to do it in one. And it's actually very satisfying doing these these rotors here. And so far, and I know I'm gonna jinx it here, but yeah, so far I haven't fallen off the helicopter on the rotors. So you know, got that going for me, which is nice. Hang on. Are those paw prints or just overspray? Uh, <laughs> I can't imagine a kitty cat would be up here. Get this all sprayed. Oh, I should point out that this is the same place that we cleaned. So all of that and all of that we cleaned. I think it was a three-parter with that, that thing. Yeah, I think it was three episodes. First part was this, and second and third was that one. It was quite a quite a decent one. It might actually even, was it three parts or was it four? If it was four, we'll have done something else as well. But there you go. In fact, it's not. See the rotor mast here as well. It's it's something that we haven't really focused much on. It's just when I turn around and come back to it, we end up spraying it. But, get that clean as well while we're on. Up to 11% cleaned, haven't used the cleaner, and I'm very tempted not to use the cleaner. My aim is to save the cleaner for things like the... Things like the camper van where lots of rust, whereas obviously this thing has been maintained well, it's just been in the field. Whereas the camper van was genuinely neglected. So, there we go. So I'm going to start working on... I mean, that says engine there. 
and we've got the raw at the masts as well. The problem with what I'm doing now is I'm cleaning like everything and it's not... That's transmission, is it, right? I'm just trying to spray everything that I can here. If I... But I want to try and get... That's it. Underneath there. To get the rotor masts done. And it won't be long until we get it done, I don't think. In fact, there you go. Done. Do I want to do the blades first? I think I do. The question is, with the, say, 15 degree nozzle, can I successfully clean them from underneath? And I think the answer to that is yes. If we are... If we are fairly thorough... And take it slowly, we should be able. To clean all of these blades from down here. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Start from this side. trying to think of the maybe the next map I'm I genuinely don't know if there's another mission after this but they are adding things to the game quite thick and fast which is very good I'm just not entirely sure let's say if there is uh, another map after this and if there is I don't know what it is so there you are because it's got a it's actually got a I'll be a flimsy narrative and connections between some stuff. Maybe give you clues as to what you can experience next. So it says in the mission dialogue for this that there is a, a TV crew coming. So maybe the next thing would be like a full TV crew, like van in the car with the like with the dish on the top. <laughs> I say a dish on the top. Is that a thing anymore for TV crews? I don't know. I always thought it was more of an 80s and 90s thing, but I don't know if this like that sort of system. So we're percent And we're lucky that we can get all of these blades from up here. This is not the most problematic clean though. There we go, there's that. And we've got like the engines and stuff. Um, and I'm tempted just to give it a good hose from down here. All the way around on this engine. Obviously there's loads of bits that I'm missing, but give it a good soak. From where I can. At this angle. Because that's getting underneath. Because I don't think we'll be able to get right underneath. Calvin Miller, I'm telling you, Doc, even if I'm goosed on CO2, I can still tell the difference between a limping ginger tomcat and a pyroclastic floor. <laughs> That's the uh, person who was flying this. Who was, yeah. Uh, in danger of uh, passing out, perhaps. Anyway, we're going to get on top here and... Hoot! That's the noise you have to make to get on there. Other noises are available, I would imagine. Uh, this is the ah, oh, this is the tail rotor drive shaft that is apparently there, and these well, are also the tail motor drive shafts. What's this then? Hydraulic control unit. I oh, that's that's why I thought it was the pumping bit, but it's apparently the hydraulics. I can't c jump for some reason. There we go. So we'll just. Get this thing from both sides and under here as well. And because of <laughs> how it's designed, we have to uh, scoot around. Oh, there's that clean as well. Just going to switch over to the standard extension. It extends the spray, but it doesn't prevent you from spraying close in, which is obviously a problem we would have with the other nozzle. 
Here's some. It looks. Oh, these steps. Oh, the light look like lights on it. So. Is that done? That's the engine and engine mount. Let's keep working on this because that's where we've got a lot of the dirt. I'll. Ah! I'll crouch and work that way. Brilliant. There we are. And also the tailwater drive shaft. And an oil cooler on the top there. I imagine in there, yeah, that's going to be a problem. Isn't it? For some reason, it's not letting me jump at times, and I don't know why. A huge drama, but it is what it is. See, I'm just trying to clean. Aren't you those pipes there? What are those? Hydraulic piping. Oh, so there's no step, but we're standing right on it. I wonder if there's an achievement for cleaning this thing without stepping on it and being, you know, doing what <laughs> doing what it says you shouldn't do. Uh, sorry, and uh, following the instructions rather. Anyway, I'm going to try and clean underneath here. This is the engine and engine mount. Yeah, why am I not able to stand up? Ah, oh, probably because of the big rotor blade that's above my head. Although I would have thought I could stand here. Yeah, we can. Okay. So this is the engine mount. Uh, you can see on the top there there's lots of rust. And I'm still sliding around, even though I thought it was on that step. There we go. And I'm trying not to... ...worry about the, uh... ...fuselage. Uh, fuselage, because quite frankly, we're going to be doing that in a bit anyway. I'm just going to skirt around here, and I'll get that hydraulic piping. Oh, that actually heads all the way around. Right, fair enough. I will not do that then. So I'm just going to get right up to this and spray in. And then I'm going to maybe go pro. Yeah, under there. Again, I'm getting some of the fuse right here as well. But it would most likely be best if I go to the front of the helicopter and attack it from that side. So onto the hydraulic fuel pump. Eh, uh, hydraulic pump rather. Not fuel pump. Clean the top of this, it's the engine mount. Again, it says no step, but you know. And then I'm just gonna clean these two intakes by the look of it. I'll attack it from the left. Oh, that's oh, it's all that engine mount. That's a big, big engine mount. You see, we're slowly sliding down, which wasn't my original intention, but it's worked out fine. And I'm gonna come to this side. Actually, you know what might be good? We can stand on the rotor. Oh, yeah. It's done on the rotor blade. Worked out fine. So we can do that. Alright. And then we're going to go to the front, where we'll have a lot more clean here. You can't imagine spraying high pressure water into an engine intake, regardless of its <laughs> activated or deactivated state. This would be a good thing. But there you go. This is the fuselage as well. But I'm also getting things like the engine mount too. It's under there. I think this is potentially one of the most... One of the most intricate things to clean. Certainly one of the most... Uh, I don't know if annoying is the right term, but there's, there's so many parts that are sort of obfuscated by other bits, so you can't, you just can't get in where you need to be. Same on this side. Engine mounts. 
Obviously, you don't have to get a full 100%. You have to get close to it. Ah, these are actually classes two engines. So what are those turbo jet engines? Or just jet engine? Uh, no, turbo engines. Yeah, the jet engines. I think the turbo prop, but of course it's not. Or is it? Is it got a direct connection? I don't know. Hey, clean. One engine clean. One more remaining. Just done the uh, engine mounts, which is good. I'm curious that that's clean, but this isn't. I don't know why. Just going around, you can see. Pressing the tab. Ah, right underneath there. Good, clean. All right. Let's work on. That's class as a landing gear leg, this thing. I'm not going to work on that, though. I want to finish off the rotors, and I'll probably work from the, the tail back over. Oh, that was satisfying. <laughs> Getting the tail rotor here. The windmill-looking thing. Or the device that will happily decapitate you as you walk past. I say happily. I mean, it has no feelings on the matter. Not that I've asked it, you understand, but... There we go. Tail rotor mast. Tail rotor drive shaft. Transmission there. Just gonna spray everything from there. Ah, you can see we've got some rust on this. So we've started to get some rust. We want to find some eventually. Blade here. That is not wanting to be clean. There we go. Hmm. A bit concerning some of this. Don't know how I'm going to do that. That one there says it's not clean. Oh, there we go. Just a little piece on the end. And that one I'm not even going to attempt while I'm here. Can we get rid of that? Yes, we can. And drive shaft. Maybe if I hit it with the cleaner it might help. I'll try it. Metal cleaner. Yeah. I've done it did it quite nicely actually. Right, but we're not going to use it too much. And this is the rear stabiliser. I think those are also classes that need stabiliser. So there's just little sections that I've left because of the distance. Okay, it's time to get up there. Should probably put this thing over, to be fair. And on. And work back over. And then work from here. Because we're so close, this should be an easy one. go and then back over here right switch it down to the first extension not the long range so we can just attack the thing we're currently standing on there's the mass done and what I'll do is I'll clean here downwards like that. And I'll go to this side. 
hoping that with this bit done, yes, yeah, straight away. Ding. And let's just start cleaning a bit of the fuselage. Now, obviously, I'm not being 100% thorough on this. Because I was trying to clean the parts first. Because then we get overspray. So I'll do the drive shaft. Like that. One thing's for sure, letting the chief know my predicament saved my smoky bacon. I owe you one. Fair enough. And honestly, I'm not even going to attempt to try and clean that drive shaft <laughs> from the wrong way. We're not even going to attempt to try and clean it. Standing on the side, we'll use this. And yeah, it's working perfectly fine. But I would go one further and say it's working extremely well. Is that rust on there? I think it might be rust on the drive shaft. Don't know if cleaning this is. I think we do while I'm here. I mean, while I've got the while I've got the sprayer out. And while I've got the scaffolding here. Should get thick off, obviously. We'll have to come back for like bits of it I'm sure but this is the first time I've really focused on fuselage and it's also getting cleaned very nicely There's still loads of bits on the top that I haven't cleaned we come back to it. Need be. We most likely will need to come back for it. But there we go. There's that. Um, what's curious is that. I'm going to switch back to all here. Yeah, what's curious is that. One 47%. I feel like we've cleaned a lot. But I guess we have. See all the little bits that are missing there. That's the tail fin. I'm just cleaning the tail fin. Just to get it completed. And then we're going to rotate this around. To shift that over. Should be about right, I think. Very good. See, there's that done, but if I go down, that isn't. So, where is the dirt on that? Tail roller drive shaft. Escape details. Click on that. I'm not seeing it. Well, I know it's this bit. Is it? I don't know where it might be. Yeah, rust. Okay. Oh, on the top there. Okay. Dramas. Pick that up. Rotate it round. And then we'll just clean from this side. And there we are. Okay, happy with that. Right, we still have lots of sections to do. Long nozzle, 15 degree.
going to clean some of these covers. There we go. I don't know what it's best to. Clean the front first. We might just do something different. Problem is, there's loads of little bits I'm missing. I've got all these windows as well on the front. Even with the long range nozzle and the 15 degree. Yeah, we're definitely on the <laughs> we're definitely on the right one. So that would be uh, a bit embarrassing if I was using the basic pressure washer. It's all these little bits that around that are gonna probably force us to come back. And it's up the top where that will be the most evident, I think. Also, I think this is one of the most, I was going to say organic shapes. It's still a hard edge, it's like, it's still a hard edge type of device. But it's got all these curves on it. You know, that there, big flat planes, similar thing for this. Yes, you have the odd curvy bit like that. But this has got lots of interesting shapes on it. So, hmm. I'm going to bring this over, I think. And we're going to clean just up here. Oh, good grief. Filthy up here. Absolutely filthy. Oh, 50, 56% clean. You see how when you press the tab, the amount of dirt that's still remaining. I would like to think that we would be okay. And after cleaning the rest of it, we'd be fine, but I don't think that is the case. Go on the top here. Look along. We might be lucky. We might get away. It seems to be skipping bits like that. It skipped that. Let me check the frame rate. Or at least the cap. Uh. Target frame rate 144 hertz. Not FPS. There was another good thing that came out of it. Do you remember we moved into Forenzo Place? No, no, I do not. Let's go from this side now. Well, guess who's a copter pilot now? Anyway, it's route to text on a date, so I better go. Is that Calvin now? That's nice and satisfying doing that. Let me sweep across. Just when you get the little bits that are sticking around. Got the landing gear and the tire as well. I 
I think the only... I mean, obviously there's been lots of vehicles we've done, but because of all the curves on this and the distances involved, I think it's a skate park, really. The one that had the same sort of challenges, but that was a very nice map to have to look clean. Set of um, put ladders here. I would assume that would have been covered in rust as well. I thought that would have been prime candidacy for rust all over it. Trying to get in every part of this landing gear. If possible. That's true, but. Sends the tire. I have a feeling it's because this is in the way. No, well, apparently not. There go. There's that tire. Right. That's pretty good at the front. Right. Let's clean this number up. It's uh, so <laughs> so tempting to clean under here with the uh, so tempting to clean under here with the actual cleaner, but I don't think that would be very good for us in the long term when you try and save that cleaner. Of how thick this dirt is under here. Progress is flying up. And obviously, there's bits pretty much everywhere that I've missed. You know, I've had a hugely thorough clean. I mean, even, th even that, even we've done this, it seems like it's clean, but there's bits missing. And I'm just hoping that I don't have to. Hunt for loads and little bits. So, uh, um, let's switch to this. Let's just give it a go. Like that. Mm -hmm. Works out. Seems to work out, doesn't it? Especially when we've got an overspray. Moving along and then working across. I was saying about maps earlier. The teased. Well, that's disappointing there. The teased different maps and. Obviously, this is recorded a while before you get it. I say a while. Could be a couple of days, could be a bit longer, but I've been teasing different maps, and I think one of them was a crazy golf course. So that might be out as you're watching this. That might be out in the future. I say tease, it might not even, might not even be a, might not even be that. This is the it says water tank and water tank door. If I'm going this close in, I might as well switch to a, a smaller nozzle. Oh, all that's class. All that's water tank. All oh, right, okay. I was cleaning it and going. That's not much progress if that's just the water tank. No, the whole thing is. It's not fuse large. Oh, that's even worse then. So I thought, oh, we've got all this side to do. It's great. We're going to easily do the fuselage, but no. This is all water tank. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um. But, we can 
down here. Yeah, well that's close to the water tank. That's fuselage up there, so I'm cutting in between the fuselage which is up there and the water tank underneath. It all fits the this. And you can hardly see it. You really can. Just doing a hydraulic pipe in here. And oh, <laughs> okay. There's a there's a hole there for whatever reason. I'm guessing you can bolt on different attachments for this thing. So a bigger or smaller water tank or different devices. It does mean, however, that. Um, is that rust? Yeah, we've got some rust going on. Okay. I'm just going to clean this first. It does mean that we're going to have to clean inside that tunnel bit, which is going to be far from ideal. But we're on 85%. Uh, sorry, 75%. So we're three quarters done. See, there's some rust on that piping. Quite a bit as well. So I'll come back with a cleaner or the 15 slash 0 degree. And maybe even a spiralizer 127 million. We shall see. Put the water tank first. And this nozzle is doing a very, very good job cleaning this. What tank door clean? Good. So I'll worry about that tunnel later. Let's get under here. For some reason it's cleaning the water tank, but it's not cleaning that. How strange. It says no push. Okay. And don't push the water tank. I hadn't planned on it. Put that out of the way for now. And crack on with the water tank. And then the main things left, obviously the fuselage, chassis, the wheels, and the left and right landing gear struts are the contenders, I think. Four stars. And 4,423.36 generic units of currency. We'll bring the scaffolding round for doing up the top there. Those connections there. They are part of the water tank. A bit too quick there, so ended up going back. It's not a problem. So the doors should be done now. There's the doors. But there's that there. And the problem is, I don't know if I can fit there. Ah, good. This has already been thought of. So the ladder can go here. Excellent. Right. So I can switch it 
director. So all classes water tank as well. That's the best I'm gonna get is uh, switch to the 15 degree. I mean I can and probably should go to the side as well. <laughs> you know I don't need to go all the way to the end of the tunnel. That's all fuselage actually. That's a lot of time for. Here's that water tank done, and then all this rust. Which to be fair. I could probably tackle with that, but I am gonna go with the soap nozzle. It just gets rid of it. Can we can we go prone through here? Oh, boo, you can't. Literally unplayable. Right. Yeah, you see that? It just completely gets rid of that rust. Just so quick to use it. See what it would be like if we did it on there, for example. <laughs> but I don't want to use it on that. Um... Ah. Done. Just need a bit more on this. There we go. There's that done. Right, we have all of that to do, so I'm going to pick up this and move it j just out of the way to the front. Like that. And obviously we're going to pick up this. And this is where it might be a little bit difficult to fit in because of the piping. Fit it in fine. I'm just going to rotate it. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but it's good enough for government work. And hmm. let's just go back to that one. I think, curiously, this has been the episode that we've used the most. Uh, used the forty-degree white nozzle the most. I think that's an accurate statement. Um, okay, that's better for us. Obviously I'm trying to get the fuselage as well up here. Fusel age. No idea what the fusel age is. All this hydraulic piping. And I'm just trying to attack this at different angles, you see. There was some rust on this, and I was concerned that we'd have to go and, you know, sort that out, but. It seems to be fine. As soon as we clean the rest of it, it. Uh, I had that ting noise and we're okay now. So this is our landing gear. I think realistically we can just clean it from down here. Underneath the leg. And I'm stuck. Got the way. And there we go. And we'll switch back to this one to clean the rest of the landing gear. If it's anything that we want the front, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare to clean. Because you've got all these little connections and joints and I think the technical term is doohickeys. Just get the wheels on this one. Ouch. Might just get the wheel done first. Go. Tire is almost done. Working on the landing gear from multiple different angles and multiple different
Hmm. again. We thought that would have been the tyre done. But no. The tyre is not wanting to be cleaned. What? So I'm pressing tab. I'm not seeing a single part of that. There we go. That was dirty. It might have been underneath there. Alright, 88% and the leg is done as well. Fuselage, not so much. Let's just go here. I'll bring this. We'll rotate it round. That's about right, is it? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Switch over. Well, have a long, long nozzle with a 40 degree. Actually, you know what? While I'm here... Clean all this as well. While slowly falling down. It's such a nightmare to do with that fuse lounge. <laughs> right, we're going to head back on here. I'm just going to work on the top. By the time you get the left and right done, it's pretty much sorted. You'll most likely have to come up here and attack it from the top. Oh no, it's actually all pretty much all clean as well. Right, shift this away. And then the other side is what we've not touched. Unlike the other side, which we had. It's been a lot quicker to clean than I would have thought, but then again we are not finished. <laughs> So, yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Because obviously we've got fuselage to sort. I think that'll be the last bit remaining, really. So, working the wheel here. Yeah, right under there. Is where the last one didn't clean properly. And we now have our to-do list. There's three things remaining to clean. We have the fuselage, landing gear, and hydraulics pipes times two. Just working around this. Oh, under there, yeah. Okay. Maybe this side as well. Yeah, there we are. So, hydraulic pipes times two. No, 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 no. Got a little bit of nerve in this. Aha! There's the culprits. One. Two. Brilliant. Okay, this side. I think I will already clean this side, so I'll get this. We will rotate it round and place it about there. Is that right? That's pretty much dead on. Switch over to the nope to that, and we'll jump on the roof. I know that there's bits that we have missed up on the roof on the top part of this. Ninety one per cent. An excellent cleaning. Apart from those bits that we've missed, which is not excellent at all. <laughs> and I'll stand up so we can use that nozzle to its full potential. Uh, 
Ähm Naturally, some of this is already cleaned, and some of it not. Right, let's just get back here, and we'll work from tail onwards, tail forwards. Since we've not gone around the end game little animation, or like the summary, whatever, time lapse is what I was looking for, that will be a little bit hit and miss, I think. So yeah, it's just the fuselage to complete, and we're 96%, and the amount of dirt underneath this thing is immense, so we shall see what that's like. I do like the, the environmental storytelling, I think would be the term, where obviously there's dirt on this, and we know it's been near a volcano, <laughs> so the underside is all is is the most you know it's the, it's the dirtiest part of it which i guess would make absolute perfect sense i assume this is for tackling well it's for tackling fire obviously but i'm assuming also many forest fires you would fly over a lake dump that into the lake suck all the water up into this tank and then go to wherever you need and drop it. Would you just drop it? Yeah, that's what those doors that you just open up and it'll drop. Yeah, forest fires, I think. I've seen the... I've seen, um... I think I've seen helicopters. Probably have. I'm gonna switch over to... slightly... smaller nozzle for this. But I've seen the planes where they skim over the water. That looks, like, extremely dangerous. <laughs> an extremely skilled pilot, I would have thought. See, this is, it doesn't matter what nozzle you've, you're going to use, you just have to go really, really slow with it. I am hoping, and I think we'll get away with it, that by the time we've cleaned this bottom bit, yeah, we had all of this to clean as well. Flawless again, your class act. As it happens, when the TV crews and senators found out we'd only rescued Cal and not the cat, they were no sure. And then it's gone. Right, press escape, and there's the job. So we cleaned the hose first, followed by the rotors, the uh, connections to the rotor, the engine, the rest of the housing. We then did part of the tail, worked our way forward, and then there's the rest of it. Anyway, still, at least the copter is going to be nice and clean to go back to Columbus. Thank you. You're welcome here anytime. And if you ever fancy adding an element of danger to your hose work, let me know. I'll put the word in. So, we have a five star rating, 100% clean. And that was a 600 generic units of currency clean. And that's it. That is all of the maps that is currently in the game for the career mode at the time of recording. Now, as I said, I record this. A little bit before it actually comes out to yourself. So there might already be some new maps out. The I think the procedure will be we'll if there is, by the time I next come to record, we'll continue on. If not, we will halt the series, and I do stress halt until the maps are in and then we'll resume it. But I think because of the way we're getting maps that are uh, relatively frequently, but not enough to say there's a start and an end of the series. We'll be classing this as just a, a rolling series, starting it when there's maps and then sort of leaving it when there's not, and just coming back to it when we can. Uh, so we're not calling this the end of the series, we're just going to say, yep, yeah, until there's new maps, we'll be leaving it there and then we'll jump back in. Uh, the specials, we have done the only special, which was the Mars Rover, the career mode, we have completed all of the maps and there is a free play mode and a challenge mode the challenge mode is things like uh it says well for the challenges what have you got for vehicles uh, land water air uh what of it <laughs> cleaning cleaning a speedboard or something anyway you got what van water challenge and van time challenge so 
you can see you know it's it's how long it takes to clean the van and how much water you use the locations uh it says revisit your favorite jobs and spend as much time as you like thoroughly cleaning them uh that's the locations i'm not going to do the challenges i don't find it to be uh I don't think it'll be a decent one for the series, but we will leave it there for now. I'm not, not ruling that out, by the way, the challenge mode, just not at this time. So we're leaving it there for now. Next time, we will jump and see what the new maps are, but by all means, let me know what you think. Uh, if there's any suggestions you would, uh, you have, rather, for alterations in the way we clean, any different settings, etc. I would like to know what you think, and overall, hope you have enjoyed the episode, and hopefully it's been a chill one for you. Either way, hope you have enjoyed everything. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.